uh, Woodward, Grayson, Brad, Azir, and Kevin Ableton today. There was a no contact practice. It's just a drill work and, and shooting. Um, and Kev and uh, Grayson were limited participants. Brad was a full participant, and Nas did not participate. Uh, Bradley status for tomorrow. Available. And Kevin and Grayson status for tomorrow. Uh, Grayson, Grayson out. Uh, Kev will be questionable. Okay. And Nas will be out. Okay. Um, obviously, Kevin, he's always a guy that, not that the other guy don't want to play, but he's a guy that always wants to compete and play. So, are you, how are you gauging that with, with the idea of that it's just 20 whatever games in the season, not the question? Yes, yeah, it's really between him and the medical team where you know where his injury is at. And uh, tell me if he's available. I'm curious with Brad, just this long road for him to get back to this point. As a coach, what's it been like for you to watch this all? A guy that wants to play and did not have to wait as long as he's been finally big close enough to be able to play. Yeah, well, I think it's just it's, it's a little bit different because it's uh, his first year as a player. So remember, you know what I mean? It's uh, there's a lot of excitement for him uh, coming here and uh, getting a, a new start, you know, in the second phase of his career. And um, you know, so I think that that makes it different than most injuries that, that you face. But you know, this guy wants to be out there, and uh, I admire the work that he's been putting in. Here, just want to make sure Bradley's available, Kevin's questionable, Nasir's out, and Bryce is out. Yes. We talked about wanting to see Brad stack together practices. What have you been able to see from him during that time? Yeah, well, yesterday was the you know the, the live uh, practice. We want to make sure that he responded well from that, and uh, he did. Uh, today was more of a non contact practice. Um, so uh, it's been good and it's going to be available. This will be the first time we get to see Luke and Brad on the court together. Just how do you like that dynamic of having an additional ball handler for Luke to kind of take that burden off? I love it. I love everything about uh, you know, what Bradley Beal is going to add to Devin Booker's game and make his life uh, easier, both when he gets doubled and plays on the backside and being able to attack and create great stuff uh, for Booker as well. Frank, when you look at just Brad and Devin together, I know that when you put it back off of what you just said, you've always talked about space and how important that is with the other three. Is it, is it even more important now? Because of those two and whoever the other two perimeter guys are out there to be in the spots that need to be. Yeah, well, spacing is always important no matter who you have out there, but you got guys as dynamic as those two are, uh, you want to be as efficient as possible. So, uh, put a lot of emphasis on that. Is it? Because I talked with Eric about this. He's like, well, sometimes you got to slide because you don't know what they are going to do. With Devin and Grelly's creativity on offense, how important is it to be maybe moving? And sensing what it might be. We talk in terms of you got to find a window. Okay. You know, you got to find a window where, where there's a passing lane to pull the ball to and help them. So, you know, just just being static, static in one spot, you know, maybe maybe open for a minute, but as defense shifts, you got to you got to slide within your window. You know, to create a pass, passing angle. Frank, to this point, before getting the big three together, how would you assess the the goals that you guys tried to accomplish before that? You know, just how exciting are you to get them back and kind of move forward? And see? Yeah, well, this is, um, you know, this still becomes the, the initial phase of these three playing together, right? It's, it's uh, which we knew uh, from the start this summer, you know, that there's still going to be a, a element of cohesion that has to be built amongst them and amongst the guys that are out there with them. You know, so uh, this is really stage one, you know, of uh, seeing that. So uh, you never know how quickly those things are going to uh, take shape. You know, sometimes uh, they click right away. Uh, just because of the talent alone, and you know, sometimes it takes time you know, for teammates to learn each other and you know, we're doing our system. So, um, we'll see how that all goes out. Thanks, Joe. Okay.